Hello people of the internet, Megan here and time for another memory lane video. So, I'm doing something a little bit different this coming month. I am doing some Halloween slash fall themed videos for the next coming month or so. This is something that I wanted to start last year but I just didn't plan accordingly. And then I wanted to do it for the holidays last year but I didn't plan accordingly. And this year I have planned accordingly so I'm gonna do some fun festive videos. And this is something I hope to continue on in the years to come. I'm gonna be talking about and revisiting all sorts of Halloween movies, Halloween specials, and so forth from my childhood. And I thought I would start off with one of my personal favorites, Halloween Town. Now, this movie was one of my all-time favorite Disney Channel original movies. It is one that I would religiously watch every single year. Like any time I saw previews for when it was going to be airing and when it was going to be on, I would make sure I was going to be there and free to watch it. And uh, I can't even remember the last time I've watched this movie. It had to have been at least 10 years and holy heck, I am so excited to sit down and re-watch it. Now, I'm gonna say now, the nostalgia glasses are gonna be on in full force for this movie. All right, so I am gonna be referring to my notes from when I was watching this because my memory sucks. So I won't lie, I was grinning like a fool during the opening like title card sequence. Just the grin, I was grinning so hard. My face hurt. I was literally squeeing. That's how happy I was, just the bare intro to this movie. So we're off to a good start. And <laughs> literally, one of the first notes I have is the most unrealistic thing so far is, is just the trick-or-treaters skipping the Cromwell house for trick-or-treating. Literally, I have not seen a child skip over a house that was giving out candy. Like, in my experiences, trick-or-treating, if the porch light was on and people were home, we'd be going there and trick-or-treating. I felt old sympathizing with Marnie's mom. Just Marnie going on being like, I'm 13 years old, I'm practically an adult. Just like, no boo, no, you are nowhere near an adult. Like, I, I totally get where Marnie is coming from, but the whole like, I'm 13 years old, I'm practically an adult. Whenever some line like that is said from a teenage character or a younger teenage character, I'm just like, no you're not. As a kid, I was never a big fan of Dylan and just holy crap, I still don't like him. Just he's such a party pooper and it's just like, kid, will you shut up? Party pooper, a suck up to the mom. It's like, dude, stop. And a little out of order, I wrote, Marnie is being a touch over dramatic about not being allowed out on Halloween. Though, I do understand where she's coming from, but the dramatics she was putting on were insane. And the fashion, just seeing Marnie's fashion in particular, She's like, wow, this movie is so late 90s. It's like, wow. Now the comments I made was just, I love Grandma Aggie's dress. Just the aesthetics of it were very pleasing to me. Also laughing to myself a little bit, her, that handbag is a TARDIS bag. No one can convince me otherwise. It's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. The quote, being normal is vastly overrated. I want that quote on a t-shirt because just, it is perfect. I love that quote. And holy crap, just Grandma Aggie throughout this whole movie, just I've added her to the list of awesome Disney older grandma characters that I want to be like when I am older. Just I want to be that level of awesome. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia factor talking, but some of the effects in this movie I don't think are that bad. Some of them, you know, are clearly dated, but remembering 
that this movie, I think, came out in, what, 1996, 1998? For the time, those effects are kind of cool. Especially considering it's just a Disney Channel original movie instead of this big cinematic release. And, oh my god, seeing this movie made me remember how much I really wished to go to Halloween Town as a kid. And part of me is a little disappointed that Disney hasn't made, like, a mini park for Halloween Town. Like, I get it's only a Disney Channel original movie. It's not like one of their big, big releases. But just... I personally think it's a missed opportunity. I forgot how charming Calabar was. And I can understand some of the shock that people felt when Calabar was revealed to be the villain. Benny, as cheesy as his, like, dialogue was, I loved Benny as a kid. I still have a soft spot for Benny the Skeleton now. Throughout this whole movie, I found it hilarious how much of a better witch Sophie is than Marnie. Which, to be fair, a little understandable. A child's mind isn't as set in its ways as a more older kid, teenager. Their minds are more open to ideas and possibilities. Like, Marnie seemed like so sure that magic involved lots of crazy incantations and spells and over-the-top dramatics. Well, it's really more of a simple, straightforward thing. So she has like her little expectations of magic while Sophie's just like, MAGIC! So while it was funny that Sophie was a better witch, you know, I can see like the logic behind it too, which is something child Megan could never understand. They boxed witches brew. Got a giggle out of me, especially when Grandma Aggie was all like, that's what I get for using instant. Just, I don't know, that got a giggle out of me. I remember when Benny and Harriet went dark side, for lack of better words. Just, they scared the crap out of me when they went bad. Even though it was only a few clips, very short clips of them, it was still like, it scared child Megan so much. And while, you know, it didn't scare me now, I got a little bit of a heebie-jeebie from it. And <laughs> going back to Calabar, am I just dense or... Just whenever he was saying Sophie's name, and everyone was trying to correct him. I don't know if I'm just dense or bad hearing things, but I literally did not hear a difference between how he was saying Sophie's name and how they were saying it. Just, I didn't hear a difference at all, so just... I don't remember hearing a difference as a child either, so I'm just like, why are they correcting him? Luke's whole character was pretty cringy, especially when he's being all, trying to be all Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Cool. It's like, I felt like he was purposely altering his voice to try and sound tough and cool. And him just like, I don't know, part of me was just like, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> and also, just one thing that kind of aggravated me, Marnie being kind of arrogant and boasting that she's a witch. It's like, girl, Genetically, okay, maybe you're a witch, but you have had no training. None at all. You do not know how to use your magic. Stop being so arrogant. Like, I know, you know, she got the job done in the end, but a little arrogant of her to, like, keep on being like, I'm a witch. I'm a Cromwell. It's like, okay, good for having pride in yourself, good for confidence and all that, but calm yourself down, girl. The, th the theater scene. Scared the crap out of me as a kid. I don't know why, because looking back, it's not that scary. I don't know if it's just the atmosphere or if Child Megan was just a wuss. I don't know. But yeah, I got major heebie-jeebies watching the theater scene as a kid. <sighs> Gotta say, I love the creativity with gathering the potion ingredients. And overall, part of me was really confused by Calabar's logic of wanting to go into the human realm. Like, I can see, like, the superiority complex, you know, we are awesome, we have powers, we have abilities, we're better than humans. I can get kind of that mentality. But, I don't know, everyone seemed pretty content in Halloween Town, so I don't know why he thought he could drum up this support to take over the human world. Uh, kind of iffy on Luke's character, just his backstory was kind of iffy, him wanting to be handsome, but it's like, why if... Halloween Town is full of these fun, weird-looking things. It's like, 
why do you want to look more human? Like, he seemed like he made a seal with Colobar before Marnie came to Halloween Town, so it's not like he was trying to impress her or anything. So, you know, part of me kind of wishes now as an adult that Luke had a little more backstory. Child Megan didn't care as much, but adult Megan's kind of like, I want to know more about his backstory. But that's just me. I'm the type of person who loves learning backstories to things, places. So that's just my thing. Oh my god. Dylan not accepting that he is a warlock. No, I'm the normal one. And then afterwards it's like, hey, it was just like static electricity or the aurora borealis I was reading about, yada yada yada. That's just like how willing, far he was willing to go to brush it off as nothing. It's like, dude, just admit that you're a warlock. You can choose not to train and do what Gwen was trying to do with Marnie. Not do any training, then when you hit 13, no more powers. It's like, go ahead, you can go that route. I don't know, just, Dylan's a party pooper. Never liked him, probably never will. Just overall for this movie, I see it's not perfect. I see it has flaws. I can admit that, I realize that, but I am still Halloween Town trash. Just, I am trash for this movie, I love this movie, and even with its flaws, it is something that now that I own, I definitely plan to try watching it at least once every fall. Preferably more because this movie is fantastic. Very big place in my heart. And I'm so glad that I rewatched it after all these years. For anyone still watching, what do you think? Do you share my nostalgia for this movie? Do you absolutely hate it? Did you love it and hate Drew to hate it, vice versa? Let's share, let's get a discussion, and yeah. That is it for this memory lane video, and I hope to see you guys next time.